Hey there, welcome to my channel. Just in case you have not met me before, my name is Matt Bogosian. I'm a real estate agent here in Middle Tennessee. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the five things that you need to know before moving to Spring Hill, Tennessee. Okay, the first thing I wanna tell you about is New Port Royal and Port Royal Road. I need you to remember those street names. They're gonna be very important to you and here's why. Those two streets combine to take you from the very north side of Spring Hill at Buckner Road all the way through Spring Hill to the very south side at Kedron Road. They allow you to travel through Spring Hill and miss all that terrible traffic that's on Main Street. And another really cool thing about those streets, they cross over Campbell Station Parkway, Duplex, Highway 396, and Kedron Road. You can basically get anywhere in Spring Hill easily and miss a lot of the traffic by utilizing New Port Royal and Port Royal Road. Remember those names, I promise you they will be very helpful if you move here to Spring Hill. Okay, so the second thing I wanna to talk to you about is the fact that Spring Hill is actually divided into two separate counties. The north side is Williamson County, and then you've got the south side, which is part of Murray County. And there is, in fact, a difference between the two. Williamson County is generally thought of for having a better school system, and therefore it's a little bit more desirable to be there. So you're gonna get higher house prices in Williamson County. However, in Murray County, you're gonna get a little bit more bang for your buck, a little bit bigger house, maybe a little bit bigger yard, and a little bit more value for your dollar when you go to buy a home there. The point of this is, I just want you to know that there are in fact two counties that make up Spring Hill, and you need to be aware of that because they have different school systems, house prices can be different, taxes can be different, and you just need to know that before you move here to Spring Hill. The third thing that I wanna to talk to you about is the fact that the GM manufacturing plant here in Spring Hill is a very big deal. The plant was opened in 1990 and it is in fact GM's largest North American manufacturing plant. It is located on over 2,000 acres of which 700 of those are dedicated to farming. The plant employs over 3,000 employees. So as you can imagine, it's a pretty big deal and a very big part of the Spring Hill economy. If you decide to move here to Spring Hill, there's a very good chance you will make friends with several people that work at the GM manufacturing plant. All right, before I move on to numbers four and five, if you haven't already done so, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos with the hopes that I'm gonna entertain and educate my viewers like yourself. I would really appreciate the support. Now, let's move on to number four. The fourth thing that I wanna talk about is the fact that Spring Hill, Tennessee is the last stop on I-65 South that is within a 30 minute drive of Nashville, Tennessee. So why is that so important? Well, there are many, many people, maybe even you, that feel like 30 minutes is the max that they are willing to drive to and from work. Therefore, Spring Hill is very popular because you can still live there and work in Nashville, Tennessee and be there within approximately 30 minutes. That's really important to a lot of people and that's just another reason why Spring Hill is so popular. The last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is for your entertainment purposes only. Here in Spring Hill, we've got a Facebook group that is called I Heart Spring Hill. And let me tell you, it is a very educating and entertaining group to be in. It is not uncommon for there to be someone that posts a, uh, complaining about their waitress, their food at a restaurant, fireworks, the police, traffic, 
uh, their car wash didn't come out correctly, some uh, other business complaint, and then they get completely roasted in the comments because they took it to that public group. And every once in a while, we get a golden nugget of a post about a cheating wife or a cheating husband, and it just goes on and on, and the comments are just so entertaining. The only thing I can tell you is you need to look at it in small doses because it can be a little bit overwhelming if you're on there on a regular basis. But it's a great group, it's very entertaining, you can learn a lot about the city of Spring Hill and have fun while doing so. All right guys, I hope you found these five facts very helpful. I'm sure you're probably thinking about moving to Spring Hill, Tennessee. You're trying to learn a little bit more about the city and the people there, and this hopefully did that for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you see all my other updates on the city of Spring Hill, and please give this video a like. Once again, my name's Matt Bogosian. I'm with Kerr and Company Realty. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.